Hello you lot, Miller Corner here and welcome back to another one of my raw, stripped back, more sort of vloggy style videos. It's so raw in this case, in fact, that I'm actually filming this one on my phone, because why not? And today we're going to be myth busting an age old wives tale. Namely, can you cure rust with cola? Yet we've heard the old thing about if you take a coin, particularly a copper one, and dunk it in a glass of coke for a few seconds, you can get rid of a lot of the surface rust and make it shiny again. Now, I've never done this, to be honest, but I want to find out if I can take some of these fixtures and fittings from my beautiful Kawasaki ER5, you can see there. These particular ones, a lot of these are for the exhaust. And as you can see, they are very much showing their age. All the threads are all rusty and the heads are disgusting to be honest the thing is that now the bike's being freshly painted and looks really nice i don't really want these rusty grossy clamps on there kind of bringing the whole standard of the bike down but equally i'm not sure i really want to go out and buy a load of individual bolts and brand new clamps and stuff i want to find out if you really can use coke to cure rust now you want to do this i'm told with just cola not diet coke not coke zero nothing like that because regular standard full fat coke or as full fat as it gets these days is sugary it's got all kinds of acidic nature to it which makes it better at eating rust off of metal. Now, I'm not using branded Coke partly because they're not sponsoring me and partly because ain't nobody got time for spending that much money on Coke. So this is just basic stuff from Tesco. Other supermarkets are available. And this was 40p or something, I think, for two litres of the stuff. And we're going to find out, can I use this to get rid of the rust on these? Right, the lid's off the Coke and I've let it kind of de-fizz for a bit because this was absolutely rock hard. It probably been dropped in the shop somewhere. And that, you can probably smell it, is just delicious. Normal Coke. I mean, I don't personally drink full fat Coke. I drink diet because I'm boring. And I've kind of separated all the nuts and bolts and clamps as much as I can so there's no overlap. So hopefully our Coke is eating into it as much as possible. And I've got this bottle here just purely and simply for doing this experiment. So let's give her a go, shall we? Pour some Coke in very gently. I've managed to spill it because I'm an idiot, but that's fine. Now we're going to give them a good few inches of covering. It is fizzy because obviously brand new bottles, so I'm going to let the bubbles die down and probably top it up. A lot of this does actually make sense, because those of you that remember your GCSE science at school will remember the whole thing about acids and alkalis. And the whole thing about acid is that it tends to eat surface corrosion, because of course, ultimately, these parts are just corroded. They're not actually rotten. They're not rotting through or anything. It's just surface corrosion. Now, I want to give these a decent chance at redemption through the coke, because I'm not in a rush to use these clamps and bolts, because I still need to paint my exhaust header, and I'm still waiting on gaskets to arrive. So we're a long way off actually needing them. So I'm going to give these 24 hours or more. It's already having an effect. Look, yes, there are bubbles, but there's already stuff kind of floating in the coke that isn't normal. So as it stands now, they've been in there for less than two minutes. We're going to come back in about an hour, let's say, and see how they're getting on. Good luck. It's an hour later and this is what our Coke looks like. It's gone really brown and murky and all this crud is floating in the surface of the Coke. And I actually got a screwdriver here. I'm just going to stir it up a bit. Sit rep, initially at least, is looking rather good. I'm going to turn some of these things over so they've got a good chance of being evenly kind of covered by the Coke. And we'll report back tomorrow. It's 24 hours later and our Coke is unquestionably brown that is murky what you're seeing there is pretty much how it looks to the naked eye it's not even remotely clear anymore all you can see is all this scunge that's risen to the top and presumably is evidence of our rust disappearing and to find out i've got this lovely old ice cream container here to go with this old ice cream container and we're going to just pour our rusty rusty coke into this old container to see what it looks like so we can get a better look at it. And you can see that is really scungy brown. That's not even remotely looking like Coke. It looks more like chocolate. If your coolant looks like this, by the way, your head gasket is almost certainly on the way out. Under here, what do our parts look like? Let's have a gander, shall we? Wow. That's actually, wow. You can probably tell there. I mean, they're still not immaculate, let's be clear, but so much of the rust has gone and most of the brown has gone from there wow that's like actually gray i mean it doesn't look brand new but look compare right now flashback to what these did look like and look at what they look like now that's amazing all that kind of scunge sitting in the bottom there is still contaminant there's still bits of dirt and undoubtedly rust that's been lifted off the surface so i'm going to fill these with water uh, wash them off so they don't go all sticky and then we can get a look at the final results here we go then, from rusty brown and grot 
to well an awful lot better now that is still not perfect let's be clear it doesn't look as good as a brand new clamp but the reality is if you went around a project like my r5 and replaced every single vaguely rusty bolt nut screw and clamp you'd be spending hundreds possibly thousands on just fittings and the fact is none of these were unfit for purpose they were just ugly and rusty and now they're a lot less ugly and rusty. And this is a bit of work you can do. I mean, it's zero effort. Literally just put them in a container with some Coke and almost free, like 30, 40p for some supermarket brand Coke. And it really does make a difference. These are going to be cleaner now. You notice a lot of the threads are cleaned up as well. We're going to put some WD-40 in each one anyway, just so they screw in nicely. But they're all clean and they're a damn sight better to look at because if you do see a little hint of these, it's going to look a lot nicer looking like that than looking totally grot and brown like it did. So in conclusion, can you use Coke to get rid of rust? Well, if it's surface rust that is on fittings like this where it's not vital that they're absolutely immaculate, yes, you can make a definite improvement for essentially free. If it's structural or it's anything worse than these or it's something that you really, really care about being looking good on display, get it properly rust treated, sandblasted or just replace it. This is not a substitute for Mother Nature doing its job. However, that said, you get some much nicer looking parts and some lovely chocolate milkshake. Don't actually drink that.